Hey everybody fixing things. I'm Pastor Bill. I'm here with uh, my son, my son, uh, little William, Billy, uh, and also probably gonna have a special guest today, uh, Big Jim. And uh, if Big Jim can't break those lug nuts off this truck, nobody can. So what are we gonna do today? Today on the Mihaw truck, we're gonna try to get these wheels off, try to get the wheels off, and try to get the the hubs and the brake drums off of this truck. That way I can order up the new shoes and all that stuff and put the new hydraulic doodaddies on there and stuff like that. That's an important thing, stopping is important. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get started on it, but uh, uh, yeah, let's get started. So on these old trucks, they had one side of the truck had left-hand threads and one side of the truck had right-hand threads. They did that because back in the olden days, they didn't change it till uh, later in the, in the 70s and early 80s. They changed the directional uh, threads to all right-handed threads. And they did that because they didn't want the, the they, they, for some reason in their engineering minds, they thought the wheels would just back off and fall off the truck because they're going in the wrong direction. Uh, but they found out later that it's not the case. You just torque those bad boys down and they go. Now you can replace them with all right hand threads and they, they got the, the stuff to do that. The lug nuts that fit these things are the same lug nuts they use on modern day trucks and the extensions and all that stuff. They, you can put all right hand threads on there. In fact, you can take the ones from that side, put it on this side and it'll all be right. Uh, so these say, and they got, these got two sets of lug nuts on each lug. Yeah. So these have a big L on them I think it says L. Yeah, it's got an L on it. This one here has been replaced one time before. It's got spidey webs on it. So you gotta check. Sometimes if they've been replaced, they may have an R. Another good thing to do is to look at the actual thread. Make sure it looks like it'll screw one way and not the other way. And I bought this bad boy right here because this is supposed to be able to have enough torque to take these off. Now, my son, my son already, I mean, it's frozen. It's, it's off the ground. It's not touching the ground. I'm not putting my fingers underneath there like I just did. And uh, it's, it's off the ground. So, uh, we're gonna, I already looby dooby these things up two or three times in the last couple of months. Never hurts to looby dooby some more. Right, my son, my son? Right, looby dooby. So the thing is, you gotta take the outer nut off first and then the square head is the inner nut. Then there's a stud, the wheel stud is actually on the hub. So these are left-handed thread, so on On takes it off. Yeah, baby. Eat your heart out. Just did you see that? Thinking it wasn't gonna work, right? Oh, I'm glad it did. <laughs> That's the reason why I bought this one. It has the most uh, torque than all the other ones. My 
son's turn, the easy part. I got the hard part done. That's right. In the past, when I took them off, I think I just pulled the back out, the bottom out. Yeah, just like that. That's, that's how I did it. See, I, I told him right. That's how come my son, my son is a great mechanic. Because my dad, my dad taught me. Yeah. So this socket <coughs> used the same socket, even though it doesn't have a hex no more. It has a, a square. Inside here, it has a square. So it should go right onto that, like that. And it should be the same direction. It's, it's working. Huh? Love square? Yeah. What kind of, I kind of like square. The bud, bud wheels. Disturbed. Okay. Two off. It's got two sets of lug nuts, inners and outers. It really sucks when the outer turns the inner. Yeah. <laughs> that had to happen a few times. That caused more like usually <laughs> cutting tools after that part. <laughs> Alright, so I've got two of the inner nuts. No on the power strip, but it's in the same outlets i got two of the inner lug nuts not coming off with this and probably if i keep hitting on it it'll probably come on but i got a big breaker bar Louie's also got a big one inch hammer i don't know how much my air compressor can handle but i'm sure it'll give a couple good hits um i'm gonna go get the big breaker by where bar while he's setting up the air compressor My son brought his uh, one inch uh, Harry Homeowner impact driver. All you guys should carry these in your trunk with one of those little portable air compressors, you know, that, so you can blow your tires up. And these are guaranteed to take your lug nuts and the rear axle out of your car in one swoop. But I'm not sure if my air compressor is going to be able to power this. It takes a lot of CMS. So, um, is it, is it turning over? Yeah. Ooh, the earth just shook. We may get rained out. If not, I got the mega mother right here. 30 something screaming inches of it will move. If not, the truck's going to move. Break the axle.
came loose already. All right, let's give it a try. Remember, righty, Lucy. These tires, I put these tires on this truck a long, long time ago. These are all retreads. They are not radials. And they still got tread. They still got tread. I'm not sure. They're probably half dry rotted though. Fill the cracks of RTV and let her ride. That's right. Fill them up with RTV. I right, said so we shove the lay it down device underneath there a little further. So your drums are part of the hubs. Yes. Well, no, they come off, but from the inside. Yeah, you got to pull the you got to pull the hub, the hub off. off first. You got to pull the axle out. All right. <coughs> then I may not have the the big spanner wrench to get the hub nut off. You have the right tools. I do. Yes. Oh, you do. You mean? No, you do. I do. Yes. Chisel and a hammer. Oh, just chiseling a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right. now we need to get that off. All right, my racing jack won't pick up the whole truck. It's, this is not a racing truck. This is a commercial truck, so it, it's not going to lift it up. So, Mr. Roger, Roger Rabbit, came over and he said that he, he's got a jack. 20 ton? Yeah, I need a board. You got a good size board. Yeah, I'll find something. We're going to lift up the center and then put jack stands on it. Yellow truck. Big Jim. Everything's okay now. Big Jim's here. Is it coming? What? Bring your kids over and make them do it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's still too hot. I guess, uh... Give it a minute, take it cool down. I guess you better move your car. That's I what see I'm you to thinking. Do. Mm -hmm. You're like, this is not gonna be good. <laughs> All right, should be enough torque on this new torque wrench. We're gonna send this video to um, corporate at um, official. Is this legal? Is this safe? This is within policy. Or am 
Perfect. No, you're good. You're good, Nancy. She's scared. Yeah, it's nice. Thawing out some hamburgers and stuff. Uh oh. That one is really Yeah, choke it up there so we don't. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You know I put that wheel on back in the day. Probably with your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Those are hand <hand-tight. laughs> Did you tell Billy we saw the new Thor movie last night? Love and Thunder? Was. Yeah, that was pretty God, good. That was so good. Was Too bad Disney's all woke. Thor? Mm. That's what they want. Yeah, yeah, they're ruining oh, everything. Oh, God. Love and Thunder. Yeah, that sucks. Wrong English. We got 72 hours and keep watching it. I would, I would watch it again tonight. It was good. You just take your camera on to watch the view screen. Wrong English. If you rotate the, the lug, no, not the, the, the four-pointed thing, you should be able to get like a quarter of a turn rather than that, or an eighth of a turn. It's all square. Oh, yeah, this is a hot way. Make sure you start it off in third, like Papa used to do it. Oh, my God, he told me that. I was like, what? Oh, but I see him now. I see him. He's going to get in that truck and he's going to attempt to do it. I got it. He's going to do what? You're going to attempt to start off in third gear. No, I'm not. No, that be too much. That truck doesn't want to start off in third gear. <laughs> Back in its truck. day. He, <laughs> he might have did it in third gear, but I ain't doing it in Who's third that? gear. Well, you got to have Ranger. enough alcohol in you right. to think really clearly. <laughs> that's like the only time I'm gonna that's have not a third gear the truck. The alcohol and the foot kind of went together. <laughs> No, poor Billy. I, I no, got... I'm, I'm telling you, getting them brake drums off is what's going to be hard. Oh, yeah, this is oh. the easy part. This is the easy. Oh. Well, I was thinking right, Billy's out. like, oh, I'm going to go do the hardest thing. And I was like, what? Work with Dad? <laughs> 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 so, Big Jim, beans that you've worked with him now, how much is that one like that one? What's your opinion? <laughs> really? Hmm. He doesn't want to comment. What are you trying to say? Not. <laughs> the apple well, doesn't fall exactly. far from the tree. <laughs> He's just a little taller, that's all. A little taller than me, I think. Yeah. yeah. Your legs are like 19 inches long, so personality, attitude, oh. mouth, when something's not going right. Hands. Talking with the hands. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yep. I told that. Billy don't want no one come help him do anything now because he gets really bad word vomit and curses and and acts like a like complete crazy person and he don't want nobody that's to see these, him like that's that how he's these exactly get get mad. Mad. Get mad. these, these mean, big things like this shit. that's He'll all they know stuff, and that's like, what he said I said why like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. I, it's an inanimate object. You can't scare it nothing into doing gets, what you want to do. Nothing gets fixed without a bunch of head work. This doesn't get fixed. That's how he feels. And like I said, he'll start throwing shit, and I'm like, good luck finding it now. Might bounce your car tires on this. Which one he is? Billy don't care. He gets mad. Like truck tires? He throws whatever. Whatever's in arm's reach. I do. Reach. I think, uh, something makes me mad is usually the little things. Yeah, I threw a eight hundred dollar spot well drill once in the trash in the shop I had in Honey Lane. Just mad. Damn thing, it burned up another bit. <laughs> and Josh was standing in the shop when I threw it in there. Never in this kid's life has he taken the initiative of taking the trash to the dump. Hey. 
Lift my drill in the of course. <laughs> that was like, a lesson learned. Of course. <laughs> Did you take my drill out? Of course. She's a. She gets a really big check Tuesday. Yeah. She got her divorce. Not time to settle. Let's see, they were slumlords in Pennsylvania. Where her husband is. Mm. And they own 15 houses, four apartment buildings, and a whole bunch of shit. Mm. So he had to buy. There he goes. It's off now. Bring your smaller hammer in, always. I'm just used to using big hammers for everything. That's the answer to life. Get a bigger All right, two weeks later, we're back at the truck. If it's, because I didn't even try, what was that? My son's gonna use a extremely strong strength. He took a shower last week. Okay, so it wasn't just me. Now, try your impact on this side. <laughs> that was busted right off. I wonder if it's a lefty, loosey, righty, tighty on these. It is to be the first one I've seen. I've had these off like 30 years ago. They're just tight. 30 years ago, you put this side back together. <laughs> yeah, see, here's what keeps it from moving. Got thrush washer thingy. Okay. We got this bed pan. Put all the old parts in. It's not a bed pan. It's a scientific thingy. Back then, when I did this, the brakes weren't locked up. All right, so we need to... You see, the last time it was taken apart, it wasn't under the most hygienic... I have 
some real ones somewhere. Look at it, it's still good. All right, so the brake drum won't come off. We beat on it. We changed the tone, the ringtone on it. We didn't know it was digital. So we're going to try unbolting the, it's got twin uh, uh, brake cylinders on it. And we think maybe if we unbolt those from the, the backing plate, that it may uh, allow the springs to pull the brakes in. We're hoping. All right, we're gonna uh, go on the other side now and see if we can't get this side while the other side's soaking. We got a lot of PV blaster up inside it and and turkeys, turkey should be done here for too long. And my son, my son is getting hungry. Me, I don't need to eat, I, I just need to work.
All right. Me and my son were using our vast intelligence of superior intellect and and major forcage of using big hemorrhages and leverages. And we're gonna try to put a lot of tension on with the ratchet strap going against the center hub. And then using slight pressure vibration-ish with the down a little bit. Ooh, look at that. That's like, that's perfect. Okay. All right, get some tension on that bad boy. Here, put your face right there when you get tension. Well. All right, I'll hold it, you tension it. Tells me this board seen better days. Oh, that would give you that idea. Since it's <laughs> cracking. All right, let's give it a love tap. There's a lot of tension on there. Yeah, I heard the drum creak. Right. This this is Red Deck Ingenuity 101. Here in White Oak, this is definitely safety. This is safety oriented for all you cut guys that work in big companies. Hold on. Oh yeah, safety. <laughs> Making lots of. HHO gas. Oh, it moved. It looked like it moved. Still got. Can't tell if it's got a picture going on it. It does. Ooh, I can see brake shoes. Yeah, it moved a lot that one time. All I was doing was pushing this. Yeah, that's moving. what I was trying to do too.
Okay, we're gonna try to invent something. So we have some heavy duty quarter inch steel. We're gonna put a weld a axle onto it and onto some uh, extra metal that came out of the building. And that way that the strap will roll over a bearing rather than putting sideway pressure on it.
recording. All right, so we got firing, we got bearingage. Hopefully, we're not going to go up against the the race. Success. I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna bust it. Okay, that one is off there. I guess he's gonna pull that one real quick. But of course. See, those shoes are good. <laughs> yeah, they was working good too. <laughs> little red, turn it the other way. Huh? Yeah, like that. Yeah, we're gonna have to take the shoes off. Just put all my new components on it. That would be even better. I'm pretty springs. sure I put those shoes on there. Dark man. Time for, time for turkey. So this should be a righty tighty. Now, if I ever need a big truck hub pool, I know where to get one. We got a professional one.
recorder? Yep. There she is. Tool did it again. Turkey time, baby. <laughs> it's okay. It did it. It did it. It did it. Alright. Let's see what this thing looks like. See, the shoes don't look bad. Yeah. Well, how are they like? Why didn't the springs pull it in? Because these things are filled with uh, rust. Oh. So I'm thinking if I put brand new ones on, right? Well. Just like they are. If you, we get both of these all the way out, that drum ought to slide off and on there. Yeah. If it doesn't, then we, there's something else going on. No, I'm sure that's what it is. Because when I put it, put them on there before. I tell you what, those springs don't have much uh, mechanical advantage, do they? They're pulling from the center. I don't know. They work pretty good for a long time. Yeah. All right, let's take this off. All right, everybody, this is going to be it for fixing things with Pastor Bill. Now it's time for us to get our uh, Thanksgiving dinner on. We're all in here. My son, my son, his wife, his wife, my daughter, my daughter, my wife and everything. And, and Miss Kaylee, say hi. <coughs> uh, I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We got those things off. We had to invent some couple things to make it to go. A little redneck ingenuity. That's all I know. But we got them off. And we didn't have any, we didn't lose any fingers. And no one, no one died in the process. Thank you, Jesus. All right. God bless each and every one of you. We'll see you on the next Fixing Things with Pastor Bill.